science and engineering research, and particularly when we come to the profession engineering, right? Um, there's so many interesting areas you want to get into. But funny enough is that after you've gone through all these years in engineering, you come back to the same point, and that is law of physics. I spent about over 10 years in English industries, in uh, aerospace industries, and working on control systems and guidance. And then um, I decided to come back to Hong Kong in 1988. My job is actually in this uh, department. I was trying to do some research and find that uh, <laughs> Hong Kong has no aircraft industries at all, right? So I've got to find a dynamic system which I can use my control expertise. We have to let the student know the acoustic dynamics of design, but we want to train our students how to process it, the sound wave. So this is very much of electronic engineering problems. So we design like filter systems, power amplifiers, loudspeakers, right? All these are part of our courses that we think will benefit our students to learn this particular knowledge when they come into the acoustic industries. When we deal with noise, we actually deal with the signals. So we teach our students how to treat the signals, how to modulate the signals, how to contain the signals, how to reduce the signal levels. So, so all these are electronic engineering uh, disciplines. But if you talk about the actual source, then we do have to lead the student to know how a speaker being designed of particular loudspeakers, and we have um, a number of these projects, right, to pick up signal as well, pick up sound source signal as well. And yet we try to ask students to design their own type of loudspeaker that can generate it, the, the sound signal. So we are only target on the fundamental part of the sound source. We tend not to, to teach the students, because when you come to engineering, when it comes to teaching, it's very difficult. The teaching is very rigid. From my career, I've, I find that when you have a engineering problems, there is no unique solutions. There are so many solutions, and you just do not know which one is the best. That's why you're here to do research.